Hi there, welcome to Invert Age. My name is Keith Blondin. Just a guy rejuvenating myself and sharing my journey with you. I don't just put out random videos about health. I'm telling you what I'm personally doing, how I'm fixing and maintaining myself. I wanted to share my telomere test results with you. You may or may not know what telomeres are, but here's a little info on that. Your DNA is located within the nuclei of your cells where it's bundled within structure called chromosomes. Each chromosome carries specific genetic information in the form of genes. As the cells in your body divide, your chromosomes need to replicate so that each cell contains a complete set of chromosomes in its nucleus. At the ends of each of your chromosomes are stretches of DNA called telomeres. Telomeres help protect the ends of your chromosomes from damage or fusing with nearby chromosomes. Your DNA strands become slightly shorter each time a chromosome replicates itself. Telomeres help prevent genes from being lost in this process. But this means as your chromosomes replicate, your telomeres shorten. A common visual used for this is the plastic tips on the end of your shoelaces, preventing them from fraying. Some people claim that telomere shortening is a major contributor to the aging process and development of disease, but no one fully understands the impact that telomere shortening has in our overall health. Yeah, I can understand that nobody really knows what's going on, but it's good to get our heads into it and eventually we'll figure it out. But enough of that, on to my test results. I did three tests for epigenetic biomarkers with true diagnostic. Mainly I was doing it for pace of aging, but telomere testing was included. I noticed a big change for the worst in my telomere length on my second test. Here are the three tests, three months apart. Tests one and three show identical telomere measurements. I'm 60 years old and it shows my telomere length age estimate at 55 years old on those tests. But test two, that's when things got crazy. Test two shows my telomere length at over 80 years old. Geez, that's bad. This test estimates the average telomere length during these periods. What I'm guessing is I had a buildup of stressed telomeres, a large amount being compromised. But why is such a difference in test two? This matches up in a way with my pace of aging test. My worst pace of aging test results came from this same blood test. This was due to poor sleep habits during this time frame. I wasn't getting enough quality sleep, drinking too much water too late in the day and at night, waking me up to use the bathroom too many times. I fixed this by simply committing to getting quality sleep, doing what I needed to do with going to bed early enough and backing off on my late day water consumption. This shows you how much sleep impacts our health. With my full commitment to quality sleep, it lowered my pace of aging down to 0.66, which also got me on the leaderboard of the Rejuvenation Olympics to position number 13. I did a video on that, link in details. So there you have it. Sleep is super important. It sounds simple, but we often forget. If you really want to optimize your health game, make sure you are focusing on quality sleep. For me, eight to nine hours is good. I think that's the norm. Turn off that TV, put down that phone, go to bed at a good time. I'm getting some really freaky dreams now, so I know I'm getting some good sleep. It's like Netflix in my head. Gotta be some good REM and deep sleep in there. I don't have a sleep tracker, but I can feel it. I'll continue on with focusing on good sleep along with the other important things to maximize my health optimization. Click some buttons, you know what they are. 
That way you don't miss anything valuable that I share. It could be a life changer. See you next time.